Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Ibex Hill Police Station where the former First Lady, Mama Esther Lungu, has been charged and arrested and has since been detained. I think the lawyers are battling to get um, a police bond. They will come and brief you about that matter. Uh, I'm accompanied by Honorable Nakachinda, who is a member of Central Committee and Chair for Information, Leader of the Opposition in Parliament, Honorable Brian Mundubile, and members of the Central Committee that are all here. I will invite Honorable Nakachinda to speak first, then I will invite Honorable Mundubile to speak after that. Honorable uh, 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 Nakachinda. Yes, Right. Uh, this is a pure political persecution. We have, unfortunately, in the highest office of the land, a gentleman that is paranoid, desperate, and highly, highly afraid of his own, own shadow. The sentiments that he's been making publicly, directives that he has been giving, uh, and orders to the police, and, man and manifesting in what you clearly can see unprofessional conduct. We have there our mother, the, the former first lady, who was a victim of having her property stolen. And in the process of wanting to recover, reported to the police. And the police did help to recover, unfortunately, only remnants of what was stolen from her, which was basically money. And there was even a process of sitting because those people who stole pleaded saying that as a mother of the nation, having occupied that high office, would want her to exercise mercy and allow us to atone. And then they decided because of political man, you know uh, manipulation that has now been turned to suggest that a former first lady committed a crime when in fact she was a victim of people stealing from her it is really shameful that today just because somebody has uh, convinced himself that uh, his greatest threat for his political future lies in President Edgar Chagwalungu. Instead of using wisdom to handle this matter, it looks like God has denied him that virtue. Like so of the Bible, when people began to sing for David, 
appreciating his work, so allowed his heart to be turned into a heart of darkness. The end result is that the very person he was persecuted, God favored him. Amen. This persecution is only attracting the favor of God Amen. over President Lungu and his wife. And Andagwa Mbira Mpatangu, HH. Jinchota Liga Mudarata Waka Mbira, Buyabu Zubasunu Tulagwa Mbira. Jiragu Mpeji. You are quoting trouble for nothing. The people of Zambia are going through troubles in terms of the high cost of living and other things. Such cases don't make sense. Allow me to allow lawyers to articulate what I think has happened in there. But from a political point of view, this nonsense will only go to haunt Mr. Kainde Ichirema. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have a leader of the opposition in parliament. He was seated with us during the entire process when they gave her a warning and caution and when they proceeded to charge her. Probably speak to, the, to those facts and then give your political comments. Yes, I think, I think firstly what was important uh, to note is that uh, the former first lady responded to police call out and she came. A warning and caution statement was recorded. They proceeded to effect an arrest. From there, all we expected was uh, for them to give her bond because it's within her rights. And especially that uh, President Dhaka Inde Hichilema has been preaching uh, the rule of law. He has been preaching that they will ensure to say for any bondable offense, they will give bond within reasonable time. Now, these delaying tactics that you are seeing now are just a confirmation of what most of us feared Mingalato, which meant abandonment of the rule of law. These police officers are innocent. They are only carrying out a wrong instruction, a bad instruction from the head of state. They know what is right. And that is the reason why, even as we engage them, we are engaging them with civility. Because they are working under very, very difficult uh, 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 situations. So what is pleasing President Aka Inde Ichilema is to see the former first lady go in police cells. You are all witnesses to a statement that he made. He said, Tualambe mingalatungo apitilo oku, tuapita kunu matuwa kikata pamukoshi. What they have done now amounts to kikata wa esta lungu pamukoshi. And if I kata wa esta lungu pamukoshi, it means President uh, Edgar Lungu, because they are one, he's also been held pamukoshi. Now, that, this is what is giving President Daka in the Ichilema some satisfaction. A very temporal uh, you know, form of satisfaction. Mm. I think what President Aka in the HLM is supposed to focus on is how he's going to change the mindset of the people in Mandevu who, when he said Zambia, they said Ubunga. He needs to work on the formula to change that. Certainly, what is happening now here will not change the statement of the people in Karikiriki. Their position still remains the same. So, uh, fellow countrymen and women, uh, this is just the beginning. We are likely to see uh, 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 worse off uh, things than what we're witnessing now. now. The, what because the president has entered a desperate mode. He's now very, very desperate, seeing that everything that he said has tended to be the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. Fuel at 20, 15 kwacha is now at 30. That's yeah. double. Price of millimeter at 130 is now 300. Everything is in, is, is in reverse. So he will resort to these tactics so that uh, you cannot speak but as an opposition political party and speaking on behalf of honorable members of parliament we have resolved we have made one solemn undertaking to the zambian people that will fight to the hilt to protect the constitution of this country and within the constitution are enshrined fundamental rights rights to speak rights to assemble it is our job that was given to us by yourselves to go out there and defend you. Right. And uh, part of what I'm doing now is to stand firm and ensure that uh, the democratic tenets of this country are firmly protected. Well, well, thank you very much. Just wait, wait, just wait, just wait. I would invite uh, Reverend Smiley, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to speak to the heart of women and heart of leadership. Um, before she does that, I know you all want the charges. Yes. There are yes. four counts, like I stated. So, three counts of motor vehicle theft. This relates to a...
Toyota Alex. Then there is a certificate of title. For the, remember when they got the money, they went on this shopping spree. So there is a certificate of title they had surrendered during the agreement. So it's those four issues where the former first lady has then been jointly charged with these four other police officers that executed a complaint. Then in relation to her, she has one count where she's been charged uh, for you know, possession of that $400,000 uh, dollars suspected to be proceeds of crime. So those are the four charges. Are we clear? Yeah. So, what, so four charges, there's only one charge against her, isn't it? No. Mm. There are four charges. All right. Except that uh, she has a more charge, the $400,000 uh, proceeds of crime. The others is just theft of those three motor vehicles oh, and certificate mentality. of title. Like I, we, we have emphasized, there was even a settlement, a settled agreement. But then, you know, the, the suspects became the victim and reported this criminal complaint to the police. So I'll invite Reverend Smiley just to speak to the sad day where we have the former first lady locked up here in police cells and denied police bond, even when we had two working sureties. Mayo Yola, Yes, I want to look into the first of our president, I'm looking into your eyes. And I want to remind you of three things. One, you are born of a woman. You were born of a woman. You have a mother. And I'm sure you honor and respect your mother. Esther Chagalungu is a mother of this nation. And you know how she traversed from north to south, east to west, to touch the lives of people. Number two, uh, Mr. Hichilema, you were supposed to respect the constitution. You saw uh, in front of the people of Zambia, you said you shall protect the constitution of Zambia. And you know that Zambia is a constitutional democracy. Yeah, yeah. You are supposed, I'm reminding you, and the people of Zambia are watching. Number three, I want to remind you that the people of Zambia, the people of Zambia have declared this nation a Christian nation. Yeah. Where we uphold Christian values and principles. Surely, Mr. President, are you going to be the first one to start breaking Eh? Our identity. We have an identity. We have a personality to respect and to honor. So I want to remind you of those things. But also allow me as a church leader to speak to my fellow church leaders. Mm. We have a responsibility. Church leaders, we have a responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Let us not bury our heads in sand. We have to speak to the situation Amen. in the nation. We have to speak on behalf of the voiceless. Mm. There is a situation in our nation. We, Zambia is a peaceful nation, mm. but we are uh, 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 quickly losing this peace that we have gained for so many years. The church leaders should, uh, should uh, provide the counsel mm. to the president. Please provide the counsel. He has to honor our identity as a Christian nation. We are a nation of peace. We are a nation of love. Thank, Thank you. you, Mama. I will take questions before we discuss. Anyone who has any question? Only you mentioned about the delay in uh, giving her bond. Has she met all the conditions? She met all the conditions. The students are here. Everybody is here. We've been here since morning. We would have been out of here had they been uh, acting within the provisions of the law. So what's happening now? What what are they waiting? What are they saying they're waiting for? Somebody's going to make a phone call, President Daka in the to celebrate that uh, Madam Esther Lung is now in police cell, so that the president can smile. We saw the lawyers mm -hmm. drive yeah. out. Driving out yeah. What does that mean? Would you believe that after all these preparations, somebody would say he didn't come with their stamp? They could not call a driver from Post Headquarters to bring a stamp if, if I thought it was needed. Do you want to believe a silly excuse like that? I mean, it sounds childish. I, was, I didn't want to say it, but that's what it is. That's what they're waiting for. No, no, yeah. they've driven because they... Mr. Yui and the entire team have left this place to go and collectively get a stamp, which they forgot in the morning. And I'm sure you saw me following Mr. Yui to the car. We have 
a Kaba, a tribal Kaba within the police that is being used as a, an arsenal against the opposition. And whenever they appear, just know that the opposition are in trouble. And they have this dramatic behavior that when they arrest as they have done, because the boss has to be satisfied, like the leader of the opposition has said, they needed to report that at least we have locked her in the cells. That is basically what is going on. Are you prepared? So you're not surprised that it's the same police officers that handle cases like this? How many police officers do we have? 20, Why is it that it's the only the same name against the PF? Check your facts. It's the same name. Mr. Yu has to be somewhere in the whole list. It's the same people for as long as I've attended this police session. It's the same people. So you know that these are people with instructions. So we want to call us to the panel. But my mama first let me know about the very much problem. We are not moving. So be patient. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There are four others. You are late. Four others. <laughs> and we, we, the details are, the names are there. We've given the names to your colleagues. And then look for your own governor. The instance up over here. Mm -hmm. now, it looks like we can't here for much longer than yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's, thanks. Okay.